Hi hey guys and gals, I'm Greg Farrell. I'm the Product Operations Manager here at First Light. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about 37.5 and the 37.5 technology that you'll find throughout the entire First Light line. A little bit of history with First Light and 37.5. Our relationship began back in 2010 when First Light was branching out from its already very well known base layer system uh, made up of merino wool and expanding into the outdoor category. When you have a base layer that's as effective as merino wool is, um, we really wanted to make sure that whatever we were putting over the top of it was not only allowing merino wool to do the things that it was good at, but also enhance its ability to do that job throughout the entire system. Um, this is where the relationship with 37.5 and the 37.5 technology started. The synthetic fibers that 37.5 makes uh, were actually directly designed to work with and enhance uh, merino wool's capabilities. So it was really a perfect match for First Light um, regarding the base and mid-layer system that we had already built. A little bit of overview of how 37.5 works. Uh, we refer to 37.5 technology as active particle technology. What that means is the particles that are embedded in these fibers um, are always 24 seven, they're actively moving moisture away from your body. A key to this component is that these particles being embedded in the fibers, it's not a treatment. It's not something that can be washed away. It's not something that diminishes uh, with use. So what that means for you as the end user is these active particles uh, will be doing their job throughout the life of the garment. Now, what is their job? The job of these particles, as I mentioned, is to move moisture away from your body. Um, what 37.5 particles do better than any other particles on the market is they move that moisture away from your body even in its vapor stage. So before you begin to sweat, even though you're not sweating, your skin is putting out moisture. And if that moisture gets trapped between your skin and the garment, what happens is the humidity level increases. As the humidity level increases, as we all know, we become less comfortable. So even in that vapor stage, these particles are moving that vapor, that moisture vapor away from your body, keeping your humidity at a relatively um, comfortable level, uh, whether you're stationary or super active. Now, if you do become super active, you're hiking up a hill or you have a quick high output and you do begin to sweat, 37.5 still works great because of its ability to dry really quick. So if you do get beyond the vapor moisture level and it's liquid moisture, it's gonna move that liquid moisture away from your body, uh, help it dry extremely fast, so again, you stay comfortable. Now, in the first light line, you're gonna find this 37.5, point, the 37.5 excuse me, technology in a bunch of our different categories. The first category that you'll find it is in our arrow wool category. Now, as you all know, arrow wool is a blended merino wool product. So we have merino wool blended with 37.5 nylon. Now, for the end user, what this means is you're gonna get all the benefits of merino wool. It's gonna be silent, it's gonna resist odor, it's gonna breathe really well. But in addition to that, you're also gonna get all those technologies we just spoke about with the 37.5. It's gonna move moisture away from your body, it's gonna dry extremely fast. So by combining these two technologies, you really get the best of both worlds in those arrow wool garments. The other place that you find 37.5 in our lineup is in our outerwear. Now, within the outerwear category, it's gonna be made up of, or you're gonna find it in all of our insulations. You're also gonna find it in a variety of different fabrics that make up those outerwear pieces. Why that's so important is, as you start to layer those outerwear garments over your merino wool base layers or mid layers, they're gonna to work together to really manage that microclimate between those garments and your skin and make sure that the humidity is at a level that keeps you comfortable. So hopefully this helps. A little bit of your understanding of what 37.5 technology is and why we have it in a number of our garments. If you do have any other questions, feel free to give us a ring here at the office. We'd be happy to talk to you about those. Or come on over to firstlight.com. You can leave a question there. We'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks.